Louis C. the mayor checking in. Listen, uh, we got a lot of stuff going on. And my apologies. Uh, we ran behind schedule, but here we are. So if y'all could help me out with uh, some shares right here. Boop, boop, boop. On the show today. Monica Flowers had a hell of a day going today, but she, she made it. And, you know, every day above water is a good day. Who is Michael Knowles? So let me explain to you about Michael Knowles. You see this little thing on here? All right. This is a paper one. So at this company, we, we try to cover everything, the most minute, smallest thing on the planet. It's, it takes like two microscopes to, to look for it. Michael Knowles seen papers uh, flying around. He didn't have to wait for Monica to say, Mike, can you go to the... Uh, uh, office uh, depot and buy some paperweights. I, I wasn't thinking about no paperweight. I got my brain is overloaded uh, to the maximum. He took it upon himself to get paperweights. Now, some of y'all might think that these little paperweights is not a big deal. These paperweights have made my whole day. This is what we strive for, perfection. Only one team was perfect in 72, the Miami Dolphins. These are the facts. So we, every day at this company, we're going to strive for uh, perfection. We don't care if we're in Key West, they cop it. Uh, Marathon, Key Largo, we will try to compete at a worldwide level. Uh, thank you, FloridaKeysInjury.com, Accident Lawyers in the Keys. A lot of accidents out there. Be careful. If you have an accident, go to FloridaKeysInjury.com, Locals Taking Care of Locals. Vance Urgent Care, Key West Marathon in Key Largo, now offering affordable health care with the 2Ks, $89. Also, I heard you've been over there to the Naughty Vapes. Can you tell me about it? Yeah, it was... Uh... Very nice. She was having a good day today. Um, oh, that's right. You was there today. Yeah. Um, I checked, you know, I checked in over there. And um, the store is absolutely wonderful. Um, well, where is it? Where is it? It's right across from the uh, fire department or police department. Yes. On the boulevard. Yes. And, you know, they have a good uh, program for locals and military and the inventory is big and support mom and pop. Yes. So uh, Mike knows, uh, stand by. Also, Old Town Rodeo, 618 Duval Street is uh, two words, buck wild, world famous bull riding. Thursday, Island Outlaws, that boy Chili Dog, and the whole gang out of Nashville. It's really good stuff. So on my side, there she is. Look, I'll let you read this since that's your account now. Deborah E. Sweet. Good evening, guys. Nice to see you too, or see you today, Monica. Nice. You know this gentleman? Sunflowers. You know this gentleman? Christopher Valdez, head of the sports. We'll get it. Um, vice principal of the high school, but played for Kiwas High School as state champ. Anybody else on, on your side? Not yet. Okay. Um, who is Mike Knowles? Uh, uh, anything, uh, you know, you don't tell him what Mark doing today. Yeah, well, he throwing some curveballs here. I got Sonia Jimenez. Sonia uh, Jimenez. Jimenez, yeah. yeah. I got Patrick... Uh, Ricky, Patrick Reach, maybe. Yeah, yeah. And I got uh, Milos, mm -hmm. David. Yeah. yeah, Milos. You know anything about the Barbary Beach House? No. So the Barbary Beach House spent six million dollars over at the old Sheraton. Have you been to the property yet? Mm -hmm. So I had to take you over there and check it out. So it's extensive renovations and a great place to stay. I mean, you walk right across the beach. Uh, glad to report. I talked to the TDC today. And uh, TDC says we're the safest place to be in America for a pandemic. Anybody who says uh, any otherwise, uh, they don't have the facts to um, back that up. Uh, there's one word for that, foolishness. So uh, there's a lot of people downtown. I mean, um, how's your travels out there with the flowers? You back on bit? You back in business now? Huh? Yeah, I've been doing. I've been selling some flowers. Yeah. Okay. So are you um, gonna be out tonight? Yes, we got. Red. Actually, they're called black roses. Ooh. They're the black Thakra roses. They're the blackest roses that you can get, period. Aren't, aren't black roses uh, is, uh, tough for people to buy? Do they still buy black ones? Um, actually, I get a huge amount of people that want black roses. Gotcha. Huge okay. amount of people. Gotcha. Everyone seems to love black roses. So, Monica will be on the streets of Duval. Uh, in case you don't know, you just come in here. I uh, don't know where Duval Street is. Is our main uh, thoroughway to the city, and that's where all the actors at. I'll be looking for artists. Some of y'all talking big. Some of y'all singing in the shower, which is great. Some of y'all singing in front of the mirror. Some of y'all, you know, doing what you do. But if you go to Jam Pony Karaoke Club, 
I will have a, a little talent scout in there and see who can go big. Can somebody go and knock Britney Spears off? Can somebody go and, and knock uh, uh, Puff Daddy off? I, I, I don't know, but uh, it's a lot of talent in the Keys and we're gonna try to uh, see what we could do. So uh, I seen your guarding video, very lovely. Now, unfortunately, you were just talking about my mate. I'm not gonna call no names, but I went to a uh, place in the head of my maid shape. I told him this is not my maid. Whoever told you uh, this was my maid is wrong because my mom makes my maid shakes. So that establishment failed. Uh, it's not even close. Well, when I go up to Monica. However, um, El Mocho in Stock Island is a series on the my maid. As you were saying, please. When I go back up to get roses and sunflowers, I will stop at Robert's here. The only thing is you have to give me all the seeds. I will stop and get you some real mame and um, chop them off. But I want all the seeds because I just planted one mame that was already starting to kind of sprout so in the seed. I'm going to have to give you seeds. So you'll give me the seeds after you eat the fruit. Unless you're going to plant them. Are uh, you going to plant them? You're going to have to uh, train me on that. Cause I don't know nothing about seeds. I don't know nothing about The that. seeds and the mame. Um, well, the seed, it looks almost like... Well, the mame looks kind of like a large avocado, but brown. Okay, oh, okay. so you lightly cut the skin with, you can take scissors and just kind of cut into the fruit. And then basically all around the whole entire fruit, you don't want to go real deep because you don't want to hurt the, the seed. Right. And then once you um, get it completely cut all around the skin, then you can kind of twist it a little bit and the fruit comes right off and the seeds right there. And you just pull the seed out and then I plant it. Gotcha. Uh, please share the video right here. Boop, boop, boop. Hit the share button if y'all watching right now. Uh, if you know anything about my maid and you want to interject on in that conversation, please do so. And if you got love and you ain't a hater, uh, throw them hearts all the way up right here on the podcast. Who is Michael Knows? Uh, Mike, anything uh, else on your side? Uh, yeah, I got, uh, let's see, we got it. We got Doris Roberts Arnold and we got uh, Brian Anthony. Okay, so thank you all for coming in on the uh, podcast. So, my next question, Mike knows, is Spanish lines. When is that? When do we kick off for that? We should be soon on that one. It's like close to. Uh, it's like close to summertime, really. You do Spanish lines? Yeah, I got some growing got in my the garden. Big, the big, uh, big juicy ones. Well, my tree is a little small right now, but I would consider them big and juicy. Nice. Okay, so Spanish, I just planted some more seeds. If too. you don't know about Spanish limes, you'll learn today. Mike knows when, when you was young out here riding the streets, you used to hit trees on Spanish limes. Well, I make a couple of dollars hustle. Well, I mean, they did it, but I seen some fell out of a good tree there but yeah. over there on Livy Street, and they fell out the tree trying to get it. Yeah, in Key West, you know, you can go up a tree, and you'll be okay. They'll say, hey, can you not go up my tree in Miami? Uh, you you probably, can get shot. you probably be on, on WPLG <laughs> Channel 10. Uh, Monica, you want to take some? This is Mame and Sapadello shakes back in the day at L. I'm going to let you try it. Kasiki. No. <laughs> El Kasiki. El Kasiki. Nice. Okay. Some of y'all don't know about the Kasiki. That's before y'all time. Mm. Today we was having an extensive conversation about the 70s and how things were buck wild. You know, I was barely a toddler in the 70s, but you know, around in the 80s. Uh, Deborah Street uh, from uh, the 90s, 90s. you checked in. What, what she got going? She says, she, um, Robert is here is one of my favorite places to go to. My mouth is watering just thinking of all the possibilities. Now, you know, I um, talked to Scott about um, possibly once everything is kind of cooled down a little bit, if he wanted to go up there, because actually the owner and I have become really good friends. Right. Robert is here. So all the flavors that are actually growing seasonally, he'll be, you know, people will be able to get seasonally grown produce. You gotcha. know what I mean? Gotcha. So, Sounds but right good. now, Mame is. In season. Nice. Well, I'm gonna get. I'm, I'm gonna have to get me one tonight. Uh, Deborah, I do have a question. Uh, have you seen Deborah over at the uh, Mojos? Uh, have you seen her over there? Come eat. I'm not sure. Mike knows you seen Deborah over there from uh, the Naughty Vapes and Rebecca coming. Oh yeah. Mojo. No, I just want to make sure I didn't miss. Her. I, I might have missed you. Know, Wasn't she be... the first night? She she probably was over there. I didn't I didn't see him. I ain't see, I ain't seen her. So Deborah, when when exactly are you and Rebecca, my little homegirl, okay. coming to uh, make it happen? You okay. still have the sticker on your glasses. Okay. <laughs> Look at that, it didn't matter. <laughs> so 
Can we put, uh, if you guys see Rebecca and her, uh, uh, Debbie and her lovely daughter, Rebecca, please let me know so I can come out. But I, I ain't seen them nowhere to be found, so I'm hoping they pull up one day. Who else you got? I had a, I had a taste Ooh. of it today. Oh, first time I tell you. You never tasted my maker? Um, you, no. And you garden? But I can tell you, um, mm -hmm. now that I've tasted it, it's like a twist between pumpkin pie and it's creamy and it's got some fruitiness to it. Um, a little good. bit of a papaya, but it's very creamy, almost... Um, a natural ice cream kind of flavor to it. Nice. Uh, Mike knows, would you agree, concur uh, with Miss uh, Flowers, or you, what's your, uh, have you had my maid? Is the first question. I haven't had it yet. You had my maid? So this show is uh, what you know about my maid. Well, that's the show. I don't know. <laughs> that's the show today, Mike. What, you, what know you know about, about my maid. maid. Let's write that down. <laughs> what you know about my maid. So I know it because I'm, you know, from uh, my family and my mom. And my grandmother doing that, my mate. But I'm telling you, Moshul's is uh, is on point with that in Stock Island. They got a good operation. Do you know this gentleman right here? Come on. Pete Awesome. You know who that is? DJ sure. DOS. Can you tell Monica who Pete is? Yeah, DJ DOS. DJ DOS. Oh, he was the one that was going to make the mixtape. No, he does oh. mixes every week on Wild 927 for Thursday Night Live Worldwide. He's also NYPD SWAT. Yeah, and so when NYPD SWAT show up and they demolish your whole door, they, they don't play about no door. Uh, they they serious. And then he um, transports high-profile uh, people that are, need to be transported. That they might so, <laughs> so, so, so basically, uh, it, it's a serious situation. It's not like over here when you transport them. I mean, it's, it's dangerous, don't get me wrong, but NYPD is serious. What you got? Well, well, at least you get a mixtape along with it when you go yeah, to jail. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you get a mixtape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, like DOS, <laughs> can you tell the people how long you've been riding with the NYPD? Shout out to all law enforcement, first responders, and everybody uh, across the world that uh, is uh, out there and uh, survived the pandemic. Reports of uh, things turning for the worst and key worse are absolutely false. And they told you that, they lied to you. A uh, particular doctor in town that continues to spread uh, negativity. We don't do negativity here. Throw that information and throw it in the garbage. Uh, don't believe the hype. Uh, listen to Dr. Burroughs. He'll tell you what's really going on. Monica, anybody else we got there? Um, Glenn Laver. He asked me if I would pick him up some, um, also some MA. So I'll bring some to it. him. Well, too. Uh, can we take a time out? Mike, I got an idea. Who's that? Anybody delivering my May shakes around town to shakes, period? I, I haven't heard of it, man. But you could order from an establishment and basically get a my May shake to deliver it. Mm -hmm. Question is, can you just get that my May and keep it cold and deliver it? Because I guarantee you that if right now we had to say, who want Monica to deliver my May shakes to your house? I guarantee you we got at least 20 tonight. That's guaranteed, so... Monica, there's something to think about. He says, you grow my May, you might as well, you know, uh, be a business about it and, and go ahead and get some uh, my May. And next day, you know, the whole city will know about my May. It's funny how today we, we had, uh, let's sleep it below raw. Did we, did we write a script today? No, we didn't. Um, Not at all. We ran behind schedule. <laughs> Very behind and, schedule. And this is what blood raw, and this is just how it happened. So it's a wonderful show with my May being the topic today. Um, let me see what else is going on. Shout out to Spring Breakers. Uh, some of y'all hate on Spring Breakers. Put some respect on Spring Breakers' names uh, mm -hmm. when they come down here. When you was mm -hmm. young, you, you turned up also. So let these kids have some fun. Some colleges are not doing Spring Break. And let the kids just, you know, let their hair down. If, if you if you bothered by beeping the horns and all that, get some earplugs. That's all I can tell you because it's going to happen. Uh, Monica, on your side, anything going? We have Red Tater and... Ooh. Oh, oh, Red, red Tater. So I, I don't know if you just came in. So the subject is my mate. This girl. I'm first of all, some down apparently so, a lot. That, now let me explain something. Matter of fact, Mike, can I ask you? Why don't we fire my mate over there at the at the Kaya? I'll bring some to uh, at the him. Kaya. Yeah, we, I'll yeah, bring no some kidding. down to him. I can't wait. Yeah, but it is very seasonal. Also, so. also, um, you know, Red Tater. He know everything about everything. So I'm pretty sure he know what my mate is. I'd be shocked if he don't. Red Tater kid, you know about my mate, my man. 
My made for me, please. Look, you got orders coming in here. Yeah. This might be a million dollar business. You could just start here on the rock. Well, yeah. I was going to sell at the fruit stand over on Stock Island. The guy I was talking to him about putting flowers there, and mm -hmm. I would bring him a bunch of fruits and vegetables from Miami. Happen. Let's make it up. Uh, Mike Doe, so uh, Javon Green, when that man get in the ring with you, it's a problem. So he, he got a fight coming up. Speaking about fights, uh, I heard you're going to be over there on, on Saturday checking out some of the MMA fights. So that's exciting. Uh, yes. So I think this first time um, uh, they had the fights over there. New place in town. Um, I don't know if you heard about it. Sports bar called Mojo Sports Bar and Bistro. So all the MMA fights will be there uh, this Saturday. And there's three headline events. So that's pretty exciting. So come on down and say hello. I think you got another one here, Monica. Says he's working Thursday night, and uh, I will I won't be going to Miami probably until Monday unless I have to make a short trip. Um, and Red Tater says never had it, but I'm game. Well, I just tried it actually by the spoonful of myself, and it's not bad. It's pretty okay. good. Okay. Monica, when you go to Miami, are you uh, strapped for time? No, for weapons. No, I've got. Two fists, and I stay in all the neat, nice little areas. And the Redlands, okay. and I also okay. go to the, um, uh, what's it called, uh, the warehouse district. Okay, well, we don't want to give exactly where you go because we got some you know, security people. <laughs> There's a lot of warehouse yeah. districts up so, there. So <laughs> uh, here, here's what you do. Mike, we have to say this to our people that go to Miami. Never on no those circumstances pump gas at nighttime in Miami, ever. Make sure you do that when the sun's up. Under no circumstances, ever hit an ATM in Miami when the sun goes up. Never, if you want your bank account to stay the same, never put your card um, inside the pump uh, machine, go inside and pay. If you want to come back home with the ID, money, and back, never leave your purse on the passenger side, even though you're on the side because they do a little creep. It's called the Miami creep. They, mm -hmm. they creep down low. They open the thing. You'll be... Going back to my big topic, find out what would happen to your purse. You don't even know uh, it's gone. So these people are serious experts. Nice. And uh, also, I appreciate. I really appreciate because I do it too. Some of y'all caking with your girlfriends and your wives. Never cake in my leave that caking for keep us like right Who's now. Caking. I'm gonna break it down. So what happens is we pull up, like you pull up in your little Mustang, right? Mm -hmm. And you take in, uh, you texting your your little man, so you might be in a nice little conversation. Your hair is pretty. You had a good time. So you sit there for 20 minutes. You will get jacked in Miami. So get in when you park, lock the car, and go to the destiny. Cake inside somewhere. Don't do it. Key West, we can cake. So cake is basically just an expression of, uh, you know, uh, lovely, doubly on, on, on the phone and, and talking and text. Doug Holmes is in the building. Uh, Mike knows. Oh, we got DOS. He did respond to this. He said, no knock warrants and no mixtapes. That follow. So I guess that means he ain't, he ain't BS no, Let me tell you something. Let me, let me explain this to you what this man do. When they have a, a killer and they got to transport him through the boroughs to different places from A to Z. This is not like pick up. This is real story now. It's not pick up and go to and go over there to uh, Monroe County Jail. They say, Mike, uh, we're going to go over here to Queens. So they, they transport you everything on, on uh, lockdown, uh, AK-47, everything that they got in there also. Guess what, Mike? Time to move. Uh, security risk, we're going to have to move you to another jail. Time to go to Brooklyn or whatever. So that's what them people do there from A to Z. This is real life stuff, and it's a lot of drama out there. And uh, unfortunately, it tells me that New York crime is through the roof, and it's bad news across the board. So I'm hoping that it gets better down there. Yes, Mike? It's like a federal. Um, one of my friends is a federal agent, and um, he actually moves uh, federal criminals yeah. from place to place. And they don't get a time. It's just all of a sudden they'll they get a phone up. call. You gotta go. Let's yes. go. Yeah. So it's like they move SWAT. Monica, yeah. I, I know you had some yeah. encounters with the feds. Um, yeah. uh, did any feds come recently and knock on your door? With this I haven't had work? that problem in a long time. So okay. it's good. So let's stay away from About that. Two years. So just okay. keep our garden going. Also, uh, can you explain to me why is it necessary to be fast and furious on Duval Street? If you have a car, why is it necessary to cure my eardrum? I'm tired of this stuff or whatever. Uh, and then they take off, they squeal, squeal tires, and then break my eardrum. Is it why is that? Why do people do that? Do you have an explanation? Mm -hmm. The show off, maybe? 
Mike knows you ever seen them out there turn up with you? Yeah, I've seen them turn up, but the problem is with that is you're going to buy a whole new set of tires when it's all said and done. Problem is we're going to escort you back to where you come from, right uh-huh. here from Monroe County. So if you fast and furious, this ain't the place for you. This slow, turtles, uh, Walt Disney World, nice and easy. But look, I'm excited. I'm going to do some Jam Pony Karaoke Club tonight. I'm looking for all talent in the city. Uh, also, uh, Miami Heat tonight. I'm going to watch the game tonight. Matter of fact, I almost forgot, so that'll be good. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's all love. Mike knows anything else going. I see, oh, Mike got the, the Gators on. You know what they say about the Gator football team? Mm-mm. If you ain't a Gator, you Gator bait. Mm-mm. Anything else, Mike? Oh, we got a Glenn Lambert on there. He say mental, mental uh, midgets. midgets. <laughs> <laughs> oh, when you're that's... talking about the people. <laughs> so they know. say their brain is small. Okay, I yeah, that's yeah. the best one I heard. Um, but let me tell you, I got to say this again. You know, some of y'all come in and please share right. Woo, 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 woo. Subscribe on YouTube right over here. There's a little button. And thank you for all the love. We couldn't do this without the love. Go ahead, Mike. Red Terror will be at the Jam Pony tonight. No, no, no. Hold on. Can you read that slowly? Red Tater will be at the Jam Pony tonight. Mike knows. Uh, Are you serious? I, I, I'll, I'll believe it when I uh, see Red Tater. You know, Red, when Red Tater pull up. Well, I know. There's all he, kinds he, of stuff. You he, know, he been, he been when, let me explain to you what happened. So now it's a whole different ballgame. So now <clears throat> they're going to have eyes on the 600 block because Red Tater coming through. They'll have probably a sniper somewhere on, on, on the roof that nobody can see. Infrared binoculars to make sure Tater is taken care of. And that man come in with all kinds of clearance. So when Red Tater said he pulling up, it's going to be big tonight. So make sure. Uh, Red Tater in town, boy. We, we got to take care of that, man. We got to take yeah. care of that, man. So all love today. Uh, Mike knows you got any closing words before we get out of here? Yeah, man, I, I do have some closing words. And the closing words are going to be like this, man. Um, <laughs> <laughs> if if I know some people got differences and try to block you and be haters. Okay. And what happens out of that day, you could... Be the most hated it is. You could block the most people you can block, or whatever case may be, out of anything. But guess what? As long as you keep smiling, as long as you keep trusting, as long as you keep doing what you need to do, as a person, there's many doors. Hey, love one another. Hey, holler. Yep, that's absolutely good. And uh, God, uh, God sees everything, so yep. God is good. Uh, I had, um, you know, I went to Miami on Monday. Were you strapped? I will tell you what, I found the most, it was so relaxing, actually, I did take the, that um, Cards on oh. Road, oh. I took Cards on Road, oh. hey. Hey. thank you, and I took it back, you took it back and forth, you must have liked it, yes, I did, tell and me, please, traffic right, was up. absolutely horrible, on car sound, <laughs> no, traffic was horrible on regular Uh-oh. US one, so I was like, you know what, I'm going to do Cards we'll on we'll Road, try it, try it, right? Smooth sailing. I actually beat what? some a lot of the uh, what do you call it? Those big RVs that you drive. Right. right. Whatever. Whatever. How many cars were on car sound besides yours? Um, probably ten. Okay. She opened that Mustang. Did you see any? any type? <laughs> you didn't see that. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see any law enforcement out there? Um, on the way back, yes. On the corner when you turned? No, on the way back there were. <laughs> yeah, but like when you turned. There was like five, six. No, they were everywhere. Of course not. Yeah, they were everywhere. I've never seen five, that. six. You know, because I was coming back. You know, it's just before it was getting dark, and there was police officers everywhere. Now, let, but going up, <laughs> not a problem. Now let me ask you this: Isn't that why would you take eighteen mile stretch ever again? Isn't it a more pleasant ride? In my opinion, it was very nice. Um, I Peaceful, was, right? Well, the only thing I was afraid of is later. You know, as we were, as I was. Coming back, I was afraid of maybe hitting a deer. That's about the only thing I was afraid of doing. But well, otherwise, it was very nice. Some girls don't want to go car sound road because it's dark as hell down there. You Doesn't really, bother me. You, you, well, I know you, you, you gangsta gangsta, so it ain't going to scare you now. But some other girls, they really don't want to go down there because in case they get a flat tire and then, you know, uh, Jason from Friday the 13th come out of their woods and mm-hmm. then there's a little patch where you can't make a phone call. So this is all set for a movie or whatever. But hey. You know, you got. You, I, I like it. I don't. I'll never take eighteen mile stretch. My Pandora all. kept going. I did have a problem with my Pandora. Yes. Were you ride, was it, Did you ride with uh, somebody or did you? No, with, I went by myself. Oh, you did. The freaking car was packed. I mean, packed. Remember, oh. I I had hay in it. I had rabbit pellets. And now that we got two she, little chickens, she, she blew that call. So ready today. I think we'll name the business. Uh, <laughs> Mama <May> Monica. Mama <laughs> May Monica. M double okay. M like M M&M. and M. That's a good one. So um, thank you all, Red Tater. That's right. Um, 
uh, Michael, thank you, sir. Thank you, FloridaKeysInterview.com. Accident lawyers in the keys. If you get an accident, a car open by some God forbid on that ocean, go to FloridaKeysInterview.com. Old Town Rodeo Thursday, we're gonna get 500. 20 minutes get you 500 for world famous sexy bull riding. Island Outlaws um, is definitely uh, going to be in the building from Nashville. Yes, mom. I'm working on my tan for that. For I what? might have to enter the contest. Well, let me know if your application, you need to submit an application. <laughs> well, well, I'm working I'll get, on my tan. I'll get past data yeah, outlaws. Yeah, 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 okay, yeah. Miss yeah. <laughs> I don't know, Mom. I don't know. Hey, I don't know. Um, also, uh, Advanced Urgent Care, Key West Marathon, and Key Largo. Now offering affordable health care, $89 on the Keys Care. Whoever told you not to take Avermectin, uh, they, uh, they told you wrong. Uh, make sure you get on that protocol. And uh, last but not least, our friends at Naughty Vapes. Uh, I have people that sit with little ashtrays, I ain't gonna call them names, uh, in the front of the sidewalk and you know, at the table. And I try to tell them, you know, them cigarettes ain't good for you. But, you know, there's a lot of stuff that's not good for you. So you, you got to let people do what they do. But it's an alternative to smoking. Have, is the vaping, have you started vaping yet? No. Okay. Do you think you might start it? Maybe? I don't, I, I, I might try a little bit, but I'm just, I'm worried about getting bronchitis again. Okay. It, that's all. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, all love and Hope to see people tonight. We got the Jam Pony Karaoke Club looking for talent in the Miami Heat, man. I think the game started at 8 o'clock, so I just remember that. Thank you all. It's a pleasure working with Monica. It's a pleasure with Mike Knowles. And Mike Knowles, I just want to make sure we didn't miss anybody. In yeah, show. Michael McPherson. Okay. All love. Uh, and like Michael said, uh, don't start no stuff. Ain't going to be none around here. Ha! <laughs>